Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. My name is Jackie, and today I am here to do a general reading for the sign of Aries. We're just going to do a general love spread, actually, for Aries to see what's coming towards Aries in love. How does this person feel about you, Aries? And what is the possible outcome of this relationship? And also, we're going to kind of take a look at how you feel about this person as well. Like, what your thoughts are about the person that's thinking about you. So, let's hop right in. Okay, spirit, show us the messages we need to see for Aries. Love messages for Aries, please. Whoa. Okay, so here we go. person feels about Aries. Whoa. That one popped out, so I'm going to take it. my card please. I'm just gonna take that one. Okay, so it looks like so far how this person feels about you, Aries. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's make that clear. I'm using the Mystic Dreamer Tarot, by the way. If you're wondering what deck I'm using, we have the strength card, right? We have um, the death card, but it's in reverse. So yeah, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. I love this deck. It's one of my favorite decks to use, as well as the Ace of Wands. Okay, Aries. So right off the bat, um, the messages that Spirit is giving me is that, as of right now, um, especially with the Ten of Pentacles starting off, um, this person feels really uh, connected to you. They feel like you're a very stable person that you're responsible, possibly financially stable as well. Um, this is how they feel about you, especially with the strength card here. This person is feels like basically, um, you know, you're not afraid to go after what it is that you want. And with this flame here, I love the way this flame is in this background. I don't know if you can see this, see this flame up here above her. Um, basically, this represents your passions. You're a very passionate person. You could be dealing with a Leo, possibly another fire sign areas especially with the ace of wands here um and then the death card in reverse here um this person may feel like maybe you're not ready to let some things go maybe from your past you're not ready to transform and ready to start something new um and maybe here with the, the two of pentacles this person feels like maybe you are juggling possibly juggling them and another another person not saying that you are aries but this is how this person perceives you um, that maybe you're trying to balance things out, balance finances, balance your emotions. This is how they see you. But I, I feel more like this is like maybe balancing, um, maybe you're trying to balance out your finances is, is how I'm seeing, taking that right now. Um, and then with the Ace of Wands, they definitely want a passionate beginning with you, for sure. They want to they wanna create something, build something new with you here. The way that this, this wand is coming up erecting from this the stone cracking open here is something new is springing up so and they're, they're definitely wanting um they see you as a very passionate person the ace of wands is all about passion okay and also a lot of um <laughs> sexual energy as well with the wand um the wand is known to be a phallic symbol so this person is very very sexually attracted to you as well aries let's see um how do you feel about this person aries let's see Let's see, Spirit, show us the messages that we need to see 
How does Aries person feel about Aries right now? Let's see. How does Aries person feel? Whoa, feel about Aries. Um, let's see. I just popped her right up. Okay. Okay, Aries. It looks like... Okay, so the top read was the top... Yeah, okay, yeah. So the top level of cards was how this person feels about you. This layer here is about how you feel about them. And you've got the Seven of Cups, Three of Wands. I love that card, it's so beautiful. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, the Fool, and also the Sun, which is all about positivity, celebration, but also the Sun. The sun brings things to light. So things maybe that weren't necessarily clear before i feel like with the sun the sun brightens things it shows you the way so it shows you the way to your happiness and, you, and maybe this person sees that you are trying to go towards your happiness you see this woman here this young this young woman here how she's reaching out towards the light here it's like she's reaching to go towards what makes her happy because you see all the beautiful sunflowers how they're bloomed they're fully bloomed um they've grown um it just everything looks abundant over here very abundant all the greenery all the flowers and then you've got the bright sun shining here so this person may see that you're going towards your happiness you're taking that leap of faith here with the full card definitely i feel that energy there um but you mean business with the queen of swords like the queen of swords takes no mess okay she is a no nonsense type of person definitely air energy here um you could be dealing with an air sign aries um She's very quick to cut off anything that does not serve her. And that's how that person is. Uh, that's how you see this person. Aries, I'm sorry. Um, you see this person as that kind of person that's willing to take a leap of faith towards you. Maybe you bring them happiness um, here that they want to grow and expand with you. But you also feel like with the Seven of Cups here that maybe they're trying to decide um you know trying to make some choices they're trying to make a decision here whether you know to take the relationship to the next level with you they're definitely considering the way she's pondering here in this card she's definitely thinking about the growth and expansion maybe the time because with the moon i feel like time has passed you know and it's on the brink of a, a new day is on the horizon possibly so you know Maybe you feel like this person is uh, thinking about taking it to the next level. But this person can be real cutthroat at times and uh, real blunt with their words. Um, kind of a little bit defensive maybe with the Queen of Swords here. That air energy is what I'm feeling. Air signs can tend to be a little bit defensive. Um, they're, they're highly intellectual and it's usually hard. It's usually mind I'm sorry, I'm saying this the wrong way. It's usually a, a head over heart decision that your signs tend to make. Um, but this person actually, I feel like they have feelings for you, especially with the Seven of Cups here. This person has a lot of feelings for you with the Seven of Cups here. I mean, look how she's looking up at these cups. Like, hmm, you know, what's going to be the best option here? So, for sure. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. Uh, air sign. Any sign for that matter. Okay. So let's see what the possible outcome of this relationship could be. Share the spirit, the messages for Star Sign of Aries. What the possible relationship could be. Oh, I like it, Aries. You got the four wands. Of course, the spirit, four more cards. The Emperor. Ooh. Are you dealing with another Aries? Could be. Oh. 
Very masculine energy. Okay. All right. So my here. What's the possible outcome of this relationship? Ooh. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Okay, so possible outcome. We have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is always about happy family, happy home life. We see how this couple is here together. Um, just really um, embracing one another beautifully. Um, let's see, we have the Emperor card. More fire energy, possibly in Aries. This person could be a father figure. Um, some type of authoritative person that could have some position of authority. Um, but I mean, the emperor also represents structure, control with this relationship. There could be, um, possible outcome could be a very balanced marriage because this, the four of wands also represents, you know, matrimony, marriage, commitment. So it could be a very structured, um, marriage with the knight of swords here. Um, it could move along pretty quickly. Um, but I feel like with the knight of swords, and we have the Eight of Swords, which is about self-sabotage, self-victimization, and the magician that um, someone in the relationship, it could be either you or them, Aries, take it how it resonates, but someone is wanting to come forward and come out of this Eight of Swords energy, or maybe they were feeling stuck before and they're really wanting to operate in their emperor energy here. They're wanting to step up the plate because they're ready to manifest something new in the relationship. They're ready to create something new. A family here with the four of wands is what I'm seeing so maybe it could be both parties but this this is what I'm seeing the potential for the the um, the relationship overall I feel like is a good energy because it ends here with a magician card um, the person is coming out of this eight of swords and it starts out with a four of wands so I really feel like this this relationship has great potential um, just be aware of having thoughts in your mind but not carrying the plans out here with this this knight of swords because the knight of swords comes rushing in um you know thinking that they have know all the answers the knight the knight is kind of like a teenager in the tarot he kind of comes rushing in thinks and thinking kind of like a know-it-all like he knows everything but he gets himself into a situation where he feels trapped and now he's gonna have to try to manifest the way out of it so just be careful that's what i see here like um, I feel like more of the masculine energy here. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to rush into something, take your time. You know, maybe you, you do really do want a committed relationship, but you don't want to rush into something. So this is particularly, I feel like this is mostly geared towards the masculine Aries energy, like slow down, take your time. Don't, don't play the victim. Don't blame yourself if something goes wrong, but continue to manifest what it is that you want within a relationship. No, and this can apply to the feminine energies as well. Take it how it resonates, but don't rush yourself into a relationship without first knowing what you want, because then you will start to feel stuck in this eight of swords energy and start pity partying, woe is me. And then you're going to have to get out of that energy in order to manifest and create something new. So, thank you for visiting my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. Please do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like this reading, if it resonates, even if it doesn't resonate. All feedback is appreciated and welcome. Thank you.